almost everything you know from design. About balance, about the direction of a shape, about verticality. All this was to be rethought completely. It's kind of a strange thing from one day to another. You go from the guy that had a shady job to the guy that run against Bolt in zero gravity. And so now I have to, I have to explain all that to people. There's nobody else doing this. I don't think we need tons of agency addressing these problems but one is okay, you know? So, and I decided it would be mine. This is where I started to design, you know, when I, where I draw, mainly also where I get inspirations. It's a bit my universe, you know? These two were the first thing I ever designed, so basically that's a bottle of wine. This is a prototype I uh, exhibited, so I thought, as a designer, I would really like to bring something to the table and something that doesn't carry this very military DNA, you know, that, that you still have in every shape in space right now. And so I thought, okay, let's take just a simple moment, just an experience, more than wine, it was about, could you really enjoy a conversation and have a glass of wine and how complicated would that be, you know? So we know that the liquid will tend to go where grooves are. This is called the corner effect and it's a, it's a result of the capillary forces. And you will just press here and the bubble produces itself. This is a free-fold device. If you put yourself in the elevator and you cut the cable, the elevator will go down and you will be in weightlessness in that elevator. And in the ISS it's the same. The ISS is a, is a cabin that is constantly falling towards Earth. That's the principle of an orbit. And once you study that you think, okay, then I can make a free fall in my garden, you know, or in my, here in my yard, and this is what happened, this is what we did, you know. And um, when it first crashed I was partly devastated and partly also feeling like, yeah, I'm now in a real space program. And so we thought at the beginning, oh, whoa, whoa man, this is going to be really difficult to handle the gas, you know. And then one day we flipped completely the problem and we thought, okay, that's not only a constraint, that's also an opportunity. Maybe we can use this gas to expel the liquid of the bottle. There are plenty of designers on Earth designing a lot of different ways to sit, for example, the, but the basic principle of sitting is settled, you know. Whereas in space, the basic principle of sitting is not settled at all. And there are so many solutions to find that for me, it's, the, it's just the beginning, it's just the tip of the spear. Since we say we send humans to space, why not start to think about the other things that make us human, you know? Not just the two legs and the, and the liver and the heart and the brains and everything, you know, but just also our habits, who we are, what story of ourselves did we build, how do we share a moment, how do we dance? How do we sleep? All these questions, as important as the survival ones, you know? And if we say we send human to space, then let's also try to send the cultural thickness of human into space.